All right, here we go. Great Canadian Lemonade Standemonium. We have a bunch of people involved here, and we're talking about small amounts turning into a huge amount. Uh, I want to say hello to our good friend of the show, uh, Julie Finley. Good morning. Uh, and when I say your name, you got to put your hand up, okay? Uh, I'm looking for Megan. Jackson. Hey, Jackson, what's going on? Uh, also, Gabriella. And do we have uh, Cynthia and Elisa? Hi, Elisa. All right, and next to me, John Hatoum as well. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got Santa Qureshi and, uh, of course, Stephanie Woodard from the Cancer Foundation Program Coordinator. Uh, John, I want to start with you. How did what happened? How did you hear about this? Well, I was told from. Uh, yeah. And we we like to do that, and we like to do it more often. And uh, you, tell me the name of the the store you have. The store? The, what, no, where what, you have a lemonade sta stand out front of your place? In the front of my. Uh, John Quick Lunch in Wellington Street, 1365 Wellington Street. Get We've been there since 1974. Uh, right. And uh, we, that's what we came up. And you and saw these smiling faces and thought, how could we say That's right, no? that's right. Then we're going to do that more often. Okay, that's fantastic. Uh, Julie, this is a, a pretty special thing, isn't it? It was great. It was great that John was helpful for us to have it in front of his restaurant. Mm -hmm. And Lindsay and the Cancer Foundation came to us and just said, we've got to go do a lemonade stand. And the kids loved it because they learned a lot from it, too, as yeah. well, realizing that the money that they raised went to a great cause and raised awareness for them and let them understand what cancer and... You yeah, to fight against it. Yes. So you know, lemonade stands are a, a good economic t lesson, but also this is a social lesson too. Yeah, definitely, and it brought the whole community together, especially Oof. on Wellington Oof. Street. We had so many people, as really? you can tell by what we uh, raised, yeah. but it also had all the other kids and everyone else realizing, wow, this is important for our community and everyone else. Okay, I want to go over here to uh, Santa um, uh, Santa Akora Village is a, is another special place that held uh, this great lemonade. Yes, this is uh, our first well. year participating in it. We were proud sponsor of it. It happened to fall on our resident appreciation barbecue the same day. Ah. So we had tons of residents out, the <laughs> kids were there, uh, the staff participated. We had a two gorgeous um, lemonade stands built and we were selling cupcakes and snow cones and we had even raffle tickets going on, so it was a lot of fun, and everybody got involved. So we're looking forward to it next what year. What a special community uh, that you have there. That's fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you. On this huge number, $53,151 from lemonade sales. Wow, mm -hmm. give it a hand. I think that's amazing. Stephanie, isn't that a huge number? Amazing. I mean, it's such a great idea. It was wonderful to have the kids involved, and I'm just in awe of the amount of money. You guys did a fantastic job. Way to go. Yeah, and I think it's happening again, right? Uh, as we get closer, let's look at my notes here. June 21st. June 21st. Mark your calendars once again, everybody. We can't wait to do it again. There you go. <laughs> Fun stories uh, from today uh, throughout the morning from the Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation Telethon. We continue in a moment on CTV Morning Live.